it's a bit too controlled, you know, because you suddenly, you, you want to go and do something and somebody says, oh, no, subsection B, clause A, you can't do that, you know. And you say, well, why not? Because, uh, you know, I'm a human being and that, and haven't I got my rights? I say, well, yes, but you're not allowed to do that. They say, well, you know, if it inter doesn't interfere with anyone, it must be okay. And they say, sorry, it still isn't, you know. So people have suddenly, I think a lot of people have twigged that this, uh, they've shut themselves in a bit, you know. They've got all these rules for everything, rules of how to live, how to paint, how to make music. And it's just not true anymore, you know. They don't, they don't work all those rules because you can't apply them because it means then that you're assuming that you know it all. You know, and primitive man, us, and something else, you know, and, and we don't know it all yet. They're talking about things that are a bit new, and they're talking about things which people don't really know too much about yet. And so, you know, people sort of put them down a bit and say, well, you know, weirdo, psychedelic and things. But it's really just what's going on around, and they're just trying to look into it a bit. And these other people are looking into what, what else it is, you know, and what else its possibilities are. And it's a straight sort of inquiry that they're doing. They're not doing anything strange. You know, everyone's talking aloud. Everyone's talking to themselves, really. They're just all talking aloud, and they, they help each other, you know, by saying various ideas about things. It's a good environment, you know. If there's a whole gang of people that like cider, and you're a cider addict, then it's nice to be with them, you know. I don't think many people are going to come up with the answer. I don't think anyone's going to come up with the answer for a long time. But at the moment, there are just sort of a few new fields that are getting opened. And people are saying, you know, well, this could be possible and this could be true. With doing anything like this is that I remember when anyone, you know, when anyone did anything vaguely against normal things, you know, and that I always used to think, well, he's a crank, you know, or if you sat down in Trafalgar Square, I thought, you know, ah, there's the little pigeonhole to put him in, you know, he's nuts. A lot of people, anyway, think like that, you know. Once they see you say something about Vietnam, they think, ah, of course, that's what he is, you know. He's a crank about Vietnam. That solves it. And uh, that's, I get a bit of that, you know, because I'm, you know, I fit into a neat little pigeonhole, which is like, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know, rock and roll gone too far, you know. I think that's what people think. Of course, he's, you know, he's cracked. He's nuts now. The trouble is that all these rules, people getting frightened once they see someone who doesn't agree with the rules, you know, because it's breaking the whole foundation of everything they believe in and live in, you know. So that when these weirdos, inverted commas, come up and say, you know, look, my hair's long and it's great, you know, I'm growing a beard, you know, and I don't care about you and stuff, then the people think, well, you know, what is this, man, you know? He should stick along with it all like us. And then, even if he says, well, you know, you're all wrong, your rules are wrong, they don't want to know, really. You know, because that's their life, that's their whole shell. So you can't really come along and just burst it. You've got to do it very gently and say, you know, look, I, I, I really wish the people uh, that, that look sort of with anger at, at the weirdos, at the happenings, at the psychedelic freakouts, would instead of just looking with anger, just look with nothing, with no feeling, you know, be unbiased about it. Because they really don't realize that what these people are talking about is something that they really want themselves. It's something that everyone wants. You know, it's personal freedom to be able to talk and be able to say things. And it's dead straight. It's a real sort of basic pleasure for everyone. But it looks weird from the outside, but it isn't. It's really great, straight. I remember that that was exactly what I wanted then, what I want now. You know, which is just to be able to move freely, you know, and do what you want to do as long as you don't interfere with other people. If you interfere, okay, then you've got to have rules against you because you could just go around, you know, doing anything which might be a bit of a drag for some people. But first of all, then we can have rules against that. But I mean, at least you must be able to do what you want to do without interference. Because, you know, there's nobody who's got any right to tell you not to. Because they're only the same as you. You know, and it's really just, it needs everyone on the, in the world to realize that inside them is the same thing that's inside everyone. You know, and that's all there is to it. And there's nobody better than anyone else. You see the word, any word, any, any new strange word like psychedelic, 
you know, drugs, the whole bit, you know, freak out music and all of that. Don't immediately take it as that, you know, because your first reaction's got to be one of fear, you know. So don't, if you don't fear it, then you can look at it straight and think, well, you know, psychedelic, now what does it mean? And then somebody, somebody might explain, you know. But there is this other point of view where if you don't know anything about it, you can sort of trust that it's probably going to be all right. It's probably not that bad. Because, like, it's human beings doing it, and you know vaguely what human beings do. And, you know, they, they're probably going to think of it nearly the same way you would in that situation. And that's true, you know. You can trust to the fact that things are generally not as bad as you make them out to be.